Welcome to Rappler Talk. I'm Ezra Faraz. I'm joined here today by Victor Yave, the co-founder and chief design officer of H2O Technologies, a company that developed the world's first amphibious tricycle. So Victor, Hi, hello. how did you get the idea for creating the, the, the salamander, the world's first amphibious tricycle? Well, uh, the first in the world is a bonus. Um, the first objective is to save people. And, and the first respondent's vehicle to go to the places that need, need the help. So it all started um, in Ondoy, uh, about I think Ondoy's last 2009. Um, a group of Philippine Army goes to my office and they want me to repair their boat immediately. And I was like, hey, it's impossible. So uh, I realized I'm doing a customized vehicle for, for a luxury van. And I, I told them, can this help? So it's not really a boat, it's a bubble top of a vehicle. Then I gave it to them. Surprisingly, it saved a lot of people. So it, it gave me an idea to build a boat. So that's why uh, Rescue Boy was born. So Rescue Boy, it's a, a same group of people. Uh, we built uh, a boat, an uh, improved version of Rescue Boat that it is approved by NDRMC. Uh, and it's proved by, approved by Philippine Coast Guard. I think we are the first company to get the legal approval of the government agencies. Uh, uh, the boat, uh, we do it perfectly then. We, one day we went to uh, ADB uh, and we're, we're showing our boat and they were like the regional head of the ADB uh, told us that, hey, do you have anything? Uh, what's the difference of your boat from the other boat? Uh, <clears throat> again, it's only a boat, it saves people, but again, can you build an amphibious strike? And you were like, okay, so that's the first challenge that we've got. So, um, what, were, what were the challenges in designing the salamander? Well, it's a, uh, pe if people see the salamander right now, uh, they, maybe they thinking that, oh, it's easy to build or something like, ah, it's simple lang pala. It took us two years to develop the salamander. It's not all good day. Uh, it also have a very bad day. Uh, our uh, buoyancy test at first, it got uh, uh, water easily inside and it got um, flipped. The, the boat got flipped or a lot of things. So when we, when we, uh, we, when we released the salamander to the media, it took us almost two years to perfect everything. And people would tend to say na parang, oh, parang sa malakas na flood, tataob rin yan. Uh, I always tell people, if you, you have a boat or if you have a, any, any marine uh, vehicle or, or transportation vehicle for, for marine, a boat or a speedboat or even a yacht, if you have a big current, you won't do that. You won't go to that, the, the, to that uh, 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 raging river or something like a big current. So the, we built the Salamander. Uh, uh, the objective is to, to be a first respondent in any flood or, or in any city that need helps. Can you explain how the salamander goes from driving mode to water mode? Well, that's, that's, a, that's what's unique about salamander. Um, our salamander is easily, we have a switch there. At the middle, it's something like a neutral. Then if you turn it uh, to the right side, it, it goes to land. So you can easily just gas and brake. If you want to go to water, just switch it, the lever to, to left hand. So it, uh, it, the... Our, our technology is something like we have a gear that can jump to, to when you switch it to the left, that can jump to <coughs> other gear and, and make the propeller works. So some, uh, we have the engineer who, who can explain more, more better than me, but it's somehow, so, somehow like that. So once you switch the salamander into water mode, how does the driver or his passenger yeah. actually go about rescuing people? Well, uh, what, uh, the salamander, it has a, a big opening on the side. So if you see the video of the salamander, it has a door, but that door can easily be removed, can be removed. So in times of need, <clears throat> people who, who are in the flood in the second floor, they can easily jump into the salamander or people from the water, <clears throat> they can easily jump, uh, goes up or uh, goes up to the salamander and, and sit at the back so, so to be safe. 
How did you test for storm conditions? You mentioned buoyancy tests yeah. earlier. Yeah, yeah. We we test um, technically. Uh, uh, we tell people our salamander is good for four person, but all of our testing is six people. So <coughs> we tried uh, not really the the big current. We tried our boat in 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 a current. Uh, we always test our boat in open sea, like in Batangas Yacht Club. We're always there to test our our uh, salamander for the buoyancy test, and it's it looks okay. And we tried so many angles, and we also run it for a 25 kilometer run, and everything is okay. So, at the end of the day, we don't recommend uh, six people inside uh, because of uh, we Filipino always wants to overload everything. So in case they overload from four people to six people, I think we're safe. At least if they tried it eight and the water goes in, at least we don't record the eight person. We only record the four people at least for the, for the water. But for the land, as many as eight people, you can do that. <laughs> so if I understand correctly, people could still actually use the salamander yeah. as a daily utility vehicle? Yeah, um, we can use salamander as daily use, uh, but we don't tend to uh, people who always ask us that you want to change a tricycle. No, we don't intend to change a, a tricycle. This is a new generation tricycle that can go to water and land. So you can do your own activity in 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 land uh, if you don't need uh, to go to water. But in times of emergency, for example, you're driving that salamander and suddenly you're in a traffic. Then there's a a kid or a girl, a mom driving the the car and get panic. They can j easily jump into the salamander and let their car go to the water or something like got got sink or whatever but the mom and the children can easily jump there and the drive imagine you're the driver then you can easily save uh, a mother and a daughter a mother or a son to us to your salamander so that's what we're looking at or something like in marikina you saw the floods there and the the old people the helpless old people they cannot go to the roof so they can only go with the stairs or something if they they are sick. If you have that salamander and you can be a first respondent to that, so you can go to their house or the balcony and they can easily go to the salamander and bring them to a safer ground. So that's what we are looking at for the salamander. So what does it feel like to drive the salamander? Is there a difference between driving it and sailing it? Well, uh, first I would say it's fun. <laughs> so if you're a fan of water sports, so. It's not as fast as uh, a jet ski, but um, uh, think of it, a jet ski that can can ride more people. So, so first, uh, if you if you driving uh, a tricycle on the land and water, I think it's not the same. But you can easily adjust because the water can control. If you want to go to the left immediately, you can can't do that. You have to have that uh, maneuver or that balance. For the land, you can just easily go to left and right. So, what other cool features does, does the salamander have that you're really proud of as the chief design officer? Oh, uh, one, um, the first design is not really perfect on the wind rug, but our second salamander design, it's very good, but uh, we will show it to the public later on. Um, what's nice about our salamander also, we have that solar panel, so just in case everything didn't work out. So, we have this solar panel that you can charge your phone or for emergency a, a lightning that you, uh, emergency light you have you have to have the USB wire then put it in whatever gadget you have so for emergency it helps to contact your loved ones or yeah people need. <laughs> yeah not not only that we 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 in a salamander we also have the uh, a package of um, it's a it's a box with 106 uh, components of of uh, uh, emergency kits like flashlight, radio, a blanket, cooking something in a box. So every salamander we sell, we, we want to include that. But for some reason, people will tell us don't include that because they just uh, 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 pardon, they, they just don't need that in, in everyday use. They only need that for for uh, in times of need. But we we tend to to say that still. You have to, to have that, but it's still on the process on what to decide. I'm sure everyone watching this is really excited about the <laughs> salamander coming to market. What's stopping us from getting there? Well, as of now, um, we're in the stage of uh, choosing the right partner. Uh, we have uh, three 
partners to choose from uh, as of now. So uh, we're praying for for uh, good partners for us to to grow because the first step we're going to do after uh, uh, choosing a partner we're going to build a factory. We need to buy a lot, and after that we need to buy the so expensive machinery. That machinery, uh, what's nice about that machinery, it can, it's made of plastic. So made, made of HDPE plastic, it's, it's a hard plastic that we, we designed to co co compartmentalize the, 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 every one foot we have a compartment. So that machine can build at least 100 salamander a day. So people will, will always ask me, hey, Atoy, how come you're not selling your salamander? How come you're showing the prototype but you're not selling it? I would always say in a, in a month, I can only build 10 units. So it's useless for me to, to make a production because we have 26,000 barangay that get flooded. Imagine if the LGU uh, wants my product and they give me a PO of 1,000 units, how can I deliver? So we just, uh, uh, we just uh, realized we don't need to manufacture as of now but we need a good partner that who all also believe in our uh, mentality on how it can be grow uh, can be can be big become big and what's nice is it's a filipino product and it's a proudly pinoy and we want the salamander to be a filipino product not really on um uh, h2o company or something like uh, an individual it's more on uh, Filipino ingenuity that can go around the world. So <laughs> that's our goal, one of our goals. So your dream is to have a salamander in every barangay and then eventually import it to other parts yeah. of the world. Yeah, because the, the first reason why we built the salamander is because of for the Filipino, uh, for the uh, need of the Philippine floods. Uh, that's our first objective. We want to be, we want to have a legacy uh, on this area, but we did not expect that uh, right now, um, people from abroad uh, is very interested in salamander, and we were like, okay, uh, thank you for saying that. Uh, after we build our factory and everything, we're going, we go back to you. And some of the countries right now they want to uh, reserve to become a distributor. Wow. So it's very, it's a very nice future. But at the end of the day, uh, we're still on the uh, first step, so we're dealing with the first step. Then step by step, we're going through that. Are other countries also using it for rescue purposes? Uh, I'll, I'll give you ex an example. Um, I, I realized uh, that Nigeria, they, they, the, the ambassador of Nigeria goes to our office and he was like, we didn't realize the Filipino can solve our problem. You know why? Uh, in Nigeria, they have uh, land A, something like a land A and land B. There's two islands. It has an 11 kilometers bridge. Every day you go from point A to point B, you get four to five hours of traffic. <laughs> Underneath it's a water, but you cannot bring your car from point A, leave your car from point A, then go to point B. So imagine you have a salamander from your house, go to the bottom and from the land, go to the water and go to point B. So, so they're very interested. So our problem right now also for the, that market, they, they want us to to build a factory in Nigeria and okay we were like if you want to buy our rights it's okay uh, but to make a factory right now in Nigeria that we will handle it's a question mark so so that's one example so we did realize at first we we're only thinking of the Philippine market then suddenly this this country came that uh, they have this problem and a Filipino solved their problem it's it's something something um, uh, I don't, um, the feeling inside is very, uh, we're very content with the feeling and whether it pushed you or not, at least we know step by step we're going to get there. Did a lot of people tell you that you couldn't design an amphib amphibious tricycle? Yeah, yeah. It, it, uh, the salamander is a group of, uh, group of um, it's a team effort. I, I, uh, before we, we uh, after the uh, ADB regional head told us about the challenge, we assemble our group and you're like, okay, anything, anybody who know how to build the engine, okay, anybody uh, who can do the design, design is me. Uh, how about the buoyancy test? So we, we form a group first, then we find an engineer who can help us to build this. And it took us years before we uh, did the prototype, but at the end of the day, it's really worth it. 
So, yeah. And you're here. Yeah, I, I, I would say I'm here because of my passion. But if you <coughs> ask, if we already are a successful one, mm, maybe not yet. But uh, for a prototype, yeah, we're successful that people acknowledge our product and they look at the product very positively. But in terms of in terms of uh, producing it right now, not we're we're going there eventually in a, f yeah. a few years. He, we're looking at. Uh, our timetable uh, earliest is last quarter of next year. You can see the salamander on the streets. Maybe end of end of 2000, 2016. Great! I look forward to driving yeah. one. <laughs> it's really fun. We've been speaking with Victor Yave, the chief design officer and co-founder of H Two O Technologies, the company that designed the world's first amphibious tricycle. Thank you for watching Rappler Talk.